I'm just going. How do we get here? Um, so I was born in Italy, I grew up in Italy, and I went to culinary school. And that gave me opportunities to travel the world with the companies that I work with. So at age 17, I moved to London on my own. Mom thought it was a great idea. And um, I worked there and to be honest, it wasn't sincerely challenging enough. So I decided to go back to school and I got my A-levels in London, uh, which are basically the first year of college in North America. And from that, after four years of fun having, I decided to apply to go to college and I applied in Australia and in America. And America ended up being UCLA. And I thought that it would be a, a great opportunity to go and live someplace tropical after London, rain every day, many times a day, and I did. So um, that brought me here. So college and um, challenging college, engineering school, mechanical engineering. So mechanical engineering brought me to work as a sign, for a sign company, as an engineer. And throughout life, that just became a love, a passion. So um, between all that, of course, uh, I uh, ended up also owning a restaurant here in town uh, for four years. That was a beautiful experience. But so it was kind of like um, pillared. So I worked as an engineer for a sign company at a restaurant. And then once again, I had uh, um, an opportunity to work in signage. And after I spent a few years working as an engineer for another local manufacturing company, I started this company. And when I started this company, um, after a few months of success, we got the big building, we got excited, we got our, our big manufacturing facility, and uh, sincerely, we went from having a little space and a few little machines that were, to be honest, not professional. And um, the first uh, big machine that we got um, was indeed the CNC. As an engineer, I bought lots of machinery. Big machinery, very expensive machinery, always for somebody else. So I knew exactly how you buy an expensive piece of machinery, how you present it to a board of directors and you justify it. So that's what I did. I went through and I chose the machine. I made a spreadsheet and I just listed out all the things that an engineer would care about. All of it was there, the speeds, the rates, the cost, the, the, the warranty, and uh, very important to me uh, that it was manufactured locally because I believe in that. I am a local manufacturer and I support local manufacturing. And um, all that was really important, but I missed one component that I really dealt with at the end. And what is today the most important thing? The most important thing has always been uh, support. So what I did is, um, as an engineer, I also approached that solution. I called each one of the companies that made the machines that I was trying to get. And I asked to call, I asked to talk to tech support. And, um, and it has become just natural for me to now pick up the phone and call Shop Saber when I have a problem. Uh, you call them and they answer. They, you don't get it, you're on a queue for too long, or you don't get, uh, you're gonna be called back. You have a problem, you're on a deadline, you need to get things done to support your customers. I call and I get support. And that is undoubtedly the most important part uh, to me today still. When I have employees that are learning to use the machine and they have questions, they can come to me if I have an answer or I always tell them, here's a phone number, call Shop Saber. Talk to this technician or that technician. Um, that part should be on a spreadsheet every day because it is uh, more important than speeds or feeds because you can have a, a, a problem and they can actually come in through uh, software and look at your setups, help you with the setups, change them so that you can make a better part. Uh, you can do something that you didn't know you could. Um, they can prevent you from breaking bits. They can prevent you from uh, making the wrong parts. So um, I have many, we do business with every single sign company pretty much around here. And many have machines that are not Shop Saber. And the amount of times that I hear 
uh, comments where they literally have no support. I literally went to see one of my customers not too long ago that was using the one bit at the one speed, speed that came with the machine. They were using the same bit at the same speed with every single material. They did, literally did not know that you could change the speed or that you can change the bit. They were using the same bit to machine wood, plastic, core plastic, and acrylic. Phenomenal. I was never that naive, but I must admit, I was pretty, pretty fresh and I was pretty inexperienced. But all the studies that we did uh, led to uh, what made sense, what was the intelligent choice, uh, was to buy the Shop Saber. Um, so of course, we had lots of help because at that point, uh, we, and I mean me and my wife, won the company. Uh, as an engineer, I understood quite a bit about machining, uh, but there's a difference in between manufacturing and ordering a machine. So I relied on the experience of Shop Saber to help me um, select all the options. And actually, to be honest, select the machines. There's multiple machines and options within all that. So I asked uh, other sign companies, but really I relied on uh, Shop Saber uh, marketing and sales to help me set it up. And we went through. We, uh, we went through each one of the systems and we ended up getting a, a medium to high-end system uh, that had a very powerful vacuum, which is fundamental for what we do. Uh, it holds the material there, it's safer. Um, so we got the biggest vacuum that we could get, the strongest spindle uh, that we could get, and really within our limits, the biggest machine that we could get. Uh, so, and, and that's actually helped me quite a bit, because our machine is 72, uh, so six feet by 11 and a half feet, the bed, and really it's hard to even get material bigger than that, uh, metal. So we truly can machine the largest sheet metal that we can purchase, um, and fewer companies in town can do that. So it's a little bit of a competitive advantage. The much bigger table uh, allowed us to do that. So. We also then, because we're a sign company, we do interior and exterior signs. Um, we got a extra setup to do ADA Braille, right? So we have a, a really cool setup that allows us to uh, insert the Braille into the material. So we can actually take an entire sheet of material, paint it, so a four by eight piece of acrylic, paint it, second surface, then put it on the machine with the multi-head tool changers that we ended up purchasing, we can drill all the holes for 60 signs on a sheet of four by eight material, then populate all the brails with the option that we bought, then go back and contour cut. So we literally put down a piece of material and we pull up the signs, machined with the braille, drill and insert it, which is, again, uh, we just did a, a, a run uh, not too long ago, and it took us uh, about an hour and 15 minutes to do 60 signs. Drill, drill, braille, machined out. Phenomenal. Um, with that, we also got the uh, video camera system. So the optical system helps us to uh, really contour cut. When we do graphics, right? We do graphics on the surface, and we just put uh, registration marks that the camera will understand and contour cut. So that helps us um, not have any issues of, um, or much fewer issues. Um, I hate when I get parts from other companies that send us for us to install, and you can see that clearly the cut line was not followed exactly. So you have the graphics closer to an edge than they are to another edge. So just slightly off-centered. Well, by doing, by using this system, we are very accurate to tens of thousands of an inch. So that's what we really needed. Again, a competitive advantage to other systems that are out there. Um, we never accepted status quo. We always challenged uh, what is possible and what is not. And um, uh, that made us so that uh, we created solutions for signage uh, today that are unique and they make us uh, competitive. Competitive enough to become uh, relevant to very large sign companies. The largest sign companies in North America are customers and uh, a vast majority of local regional 
same companies. They come to us uh, to rely on our knowledge and our ability to manufacture and install. Uh, we ended up using uh, the CNC to create uh, trimless letters that although few sign companies can make, we develop a way to manufacture them that is a lot more efficient. Uh, so we can now produce something that many other sign companies can't and therefore they rely on us to make them. Uh, we just finished a very large CNC routing job that uh, I would say um, maybe the most competent company that does acrylic manufacturing in North America relied on us to do it. Um, I believe they have over 25 CNC's and they came to us with our shop saver to get it done and we got it done and we got accolades and we're proud of the results. Um, they are just they were challenging, we worked really hard, uh, the finish was great, we ended up doing multi-level builds in acrylic or with bevels and illumination motion and um, um, it, it was a pleasure to do it and it was satisfying every day uh, when you look at someone and you deliver a product that you, you worked hard and you worked to deliver something that is that you can be proud of. Um, I will say this to anybody that asks me, uh, would I buy a CNC again if, if I like to make the choice? Absolutely. Um, would I consider any other CNC? I would consider them all. But today with what I know about CNCs, with all the people that we work with, um, I will still make exactly the same choice. I will still buy a, a Shop Sabre. Uh, I'm happy with them. I, I appreciate, adore their support, and um, I'm happy to support them the same way that they supported me throughout the years. Thank you, guys. That was a great visit with William of 612 Science. The Shop Saver Pro Series CNC router enabled them to become a resource for some of the largest sign companies in the world. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaver.com. Thank you for watching.